Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the One Noid Nick James. Today I want to be teaching you guys how you can install the Tree Capitator mod in Minecraft 1.8. This mod allows you to well capitate trees. It's, it's pretty simple. Anyway, guys, first off, you want to go to minecraftform.net slash form slash mapping. It doesn't matter. First thing in the description down below, go down there, click that. It'll take you up to this page where you then want to scroll down until you first see BS PKR's core. Boom, and there you go. We want to go ahead and right click, open that in a new tab, but we're not done yet. We also need to come down here to Tree Capitator. Click on that and download it for 1.8. Now, once we're here, it should automatically start the download. This one over here should start first. Boom, we want to keep that file, and then as you can see, this one right there has already started from right here. Now, once you've done that, we are not done downloading yet. We still need to download Minecraft Forge. To do that, you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net or the second link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It will take you here. You want to hover over 1.8, click on 1.8. Make sure it's bolded. If it's bolded, you're good to go. And then come over here to download recommended and click on installer. It will then take us off to add focus where we have to wait six seconds. In these six seconds, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with add focus, simply right click and reload. If that doesn't work, Google how to enable cookies. And whatever you have, as you have, go to the steps there, come back here, and it should work. If it does it, there's nothing I can do for you. Add focus to something for hatch to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put into Forge. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip and download Forge right down here. We want to keep it, obviously. Now, if we go ahead and minimize this, here they are on our desktop. Forge is still downloading, and there we go. Now, they're all on our desktop. Now, if they're not on your desktop, don't freak out. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. T type in downloads, the word downloads. Hit that, and then they'll be here in your downloads folder. If they are, drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. They won't be here too long. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and right-click on Forge. We want to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It'll then open up this handy little installer. We want to go ahead and click on Install Client and click OK. It'll go through, download some things, do some stuff, and woohoo! Successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK, and uh, you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and hit the Windows key on our keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent %APP, D-A-T-A, percent. Hit enter, and it will take us here, where you then want to go into dot .minecraft, and we should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. It's pretty easy to fix. Simply right-click over here in the white space, click on this new, right? So you got new, and then create a new folder, and title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. If it's not, it won't work correctly at all. So make sure it's M-O-D-S, all lowercase. Now open this newly created mods folder, and drag B-S-P-K-R core, right there, and Tree, tree Capitator into the mods folder. And now delete this Forge file that was on your desktop. You could have done that earlier, I just forgot to tell you to. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. To do that, we just want to go here, and then open up the Minecraft Launcher. You guys you guys should know how to do that, right? Just open up the Minecraft Launcher. And I was going to like give you a tutorial and doing that, but I mean, come on. You know how to open up the Minecraft Launcher. But once you're here, you then want to go down here to where it says Profile. In my case, I want to play on the Nyx Games Profile. Not Optifine, Nyx Games Profile. Hit it. Hit edit profile and then come over here to where it says use version as you can see I already have a release 1.8-4 selected you will not you want to scroll all the way up to the top That's where you're going to be use latest versions or release 1.8.7 is most likely where you are Click on that though click on this box and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see release 1.8-4 so Click on that click save profile and click play and now go through download some stuff do some things and open up Minecraft 1.8 with forge installed with BS PKR's core installed which is needed for tree capitator to be installed. Pretty simple stuff, pretty awesome stuff, if you ask me. And as you can see, Forge is now constructing mods and initializing Minecraft engines and all of the official things that Forge does occasionally. Because why not? I mean it has to do that, right? It's part of part of it being software. So it'll 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 be good there. Did you see tree capitator was enabled? Now we can go ahead and jump into the mods folder and see here Tree Capitator, right there. BSPKR core, awesome, and we can sort those A to Z if we want to, which is pretty cool as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and prove it's working by creating a new uh, survival world with cheats because I want to, uh, I want to, you know, be able to cheat here so I can go real quick into things, but I also want it to be survival so I can prove it's actually working. Does that make sense? I hope so. You'll see what I mean here in a moment. You'll, you'll see what I mean here in a moment. In a moment. My green screen's messing up up there, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, well. Let's move this down a little bit. There we go. Live in video fixing green screen issues. Live in video. Only here. At my channel. Hurry up! Thank you. Now we want to... Let me type in chat, please. Slash give Nix Games axe. That's not how that works? Right. Okay. Well, then slash 
game mode one. All right, now we want to get myself a diamond axe, and then we'll take that, and then we want to go slash game mode S, and then now the uh, the tree capitator mod should be installed. So we should be able to go ahead, take that tree out right there, and booyah, down it goes. Pretty awesome stuff, guys. This is an amazing Vanilla Plus mod, meaning it's a mod that can really speed up Vanilla and make Vanilla a lot better. Some would add it to a Vanilla Plus mod pack, some others wouldn't. But uh, it's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft tutorials and Let's Plays and videos and everything every single day of the week that I know you guys will enjoy. So anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Modtastic, which is the epic and awesome weekly modded Minecraft Let's Play series where I play Modtastic and have some fun. It's just like I play FTB and just, it's awesome. Go check it out. And down the other way, we've got how to install security craft in Minecraft 1.8. That mod allows you to add custom doors and a bunch of other stuff that makes just Minecraft funner. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace. I said I'm Nick's Games now three times. Wow, that's insane.